Good is good, good is your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be ranking every dark matter on a tier list and I know this goes against a lot of what I've done in the past but look it's been three months since the last time we saw any decent content that's not behind packs so it would be kind of dumb and silly of me to think any of any people out there Number one, haven't opened packs, and number one, haven't locked any, or number two, haven't locked any sets. Because, I mean, look, if you've, let's say, played the game for an hour a day over the last, basically, two months, you'd have probably two million MT just sitting on it, okay? And so to think that you're not going to open or lock in any of these sets is just foolish. So for any of you guys that have, let's say, one of these cards, let's say like a Vince card, or let's say like a Patrick Ewing, how good are they? I think it's important to be talked about because, again... Otherwise, I just, even the player market cards, those cards aren't that good. They're not that relevant either. So it just comes down to, I got to make informational content to you guys. Now, the number of cards I have on this list are maybe 30%. And all of them that I've got are basically free. So like, even like the Dark Matter Victor Wembanyama, Dark Matter KP, even though they're ranked high on this list, doesn't mean you need them. I don't personally have them on my account and I am doing a-okay. Start off with Dark Matter Adam Morrison. He's fine. But when they made Dar Adam Morrison's Pink Diamond, they had better SIGs on that card than they do on the Dark Matter Adam Morrison. Like, Dark Matter Adam Morrison's fine. Still has a good release. Like, it's the Pink Diamond's release on very quick, I do believe. Upper still a little weird. But Adam Morrison, much deserving of CTO. The card's really good. I like Amari Stoudemire more than Adam Morrison. I know some people are going to maybe disagree with me on that. But to me, Amari Stoudemire is 6'10". He's going to be able to play lanes. He has his release on very quick. Yes, I'm not the biggest fan of the Amari Stoudemire base. But it on very quick is okay. To me, B tier, definitely a card in clutch time online that I would recommend you guys going and getting. Now, again, a lot of it is, uh, you know, do you have other cards? Like, uh, you know, do you have other small forwards? Let's say Galaxy Opal Brown. That's a guy that I personally have. Is Brown going to be better than Amari? Maybe. But Amari is really solid. Anthony Davis, B tier, maybe. I think the problem with Anthony Davis is that he only has power forward eligibility, and to me, he is just a little undersized at that power forward position. Only 6'10", where, you know, you're up against Wemby's, you're up against some of these other long, lengthy cards at that power forward position, and I think it makes it kind of tough on a guy like Anthony Davis, or to really hype up Anthony Davis, or, you know, say he's one of the best dark matters on this tier list. I do like him. I think the release on Very Quick is very smooth. He is just undersized. Bill Russell, as much as I like him, I think he's C tier. And I like Bill Russell, but again, these are the dark matters we have in my team. And again, do I think Bill Russell can go out there and compete at the highest level? Absolutely. But even compared to Anthony Davis, I think AD is probably better. It comes down to, I think Anthony Davis's release is a little bit quicker. And so for me, I don't hate Bill Russell. But again, you're talking about the best dark matters in the game. Most of these dark matters are not going to be D tier or F tier. And I think when it comes down to it, Bill Russell, as high as I can go is C tier. Bobo up next. I'm going to go A tier with Bobo. Look, Bobo is extremely good. Is he F's S tier though? No. Like I've used Bobo. I actually pulled him on my account, thankfully. Like again, I've saved so much MT and I grind the game enough that I basically make nearly a million MT per week. And so, you know what? Bobo, he's fantastic. Can definitely compete at the power forward position. But I don't think he's, you know, the best dark matter in the game. And I do think there are dark matters better than Bobo. The thing I like about him is he is 7 2. I do like his release. Uh, it's on quick, obviously, or very quick. Makes it really, really solid in the pick and pop situation. But I do not think he is one of our best dark matters in my team. Brandon Roy. I mean, he's not bad. For his time, was really solid. At this stage, though, we've just gotten a lot of great shooting guards. I'm going to go C tier with Brandon Roy. And I do know some people. I've even matched up with some people in Unlimited who use Brandon Roy over even Glenn. That's absolute blasphemy to me considering all things. But Brandon Roy, C tier. Melo, D tier. I, I don't know. Melo to me is not it. Every time I've played against Carmelo, he's not done a whole lot for uh, my opponent. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm going to go D tier for Carmelo Anthony. Derrick Rose, first F tier player. If you're using Derrick Rose, I'm laughing at you. The card is not good in my team. And again, that's the problem with this whole gambling thing is you could lock in this Eclipse set in which there were a lot of solid players in the Eclipse set. I'll be the first one to tell you that. But the problem is you could end up with Derrick Rose. It's not an option pack. 
it's a, uh, it, you know, it's an equal chance. Or not even that. It's just a gambling pack. I wouldn't even say it's equal chance because I don't think it is. It's just kind of sad. Dark Matter Devin Booker. I'm going to go A tier. It's one of the main reasons I like the Gladiator set more than a lot of the other sets is I didn't think there was a bad Gladiator player, number one. And number two, you had some top, not necessarily best players in the game, but some top level talent. Devin Booker, Bull Bull, both fit that narrative. Amek Okafor is actually really good. I'm going to put him at B tier. I do think a guy like Bobo is better than Emeka Okafor, but I do think Emeka Okafor deserves respect. A lot of people did pull him out of that Vortex lock, and then if you got him, got a really solid card. Gilbert Arenas, I don't like it. I'm going to go D tier. And I know people aren't going to like me because a lot of people really love Gilbert Arenas in my team. And listen, guys, I'm listening. I, I hear you out. If you really know how to dribble and really want you know, a, a primary bundler, Gilbert Arenas can be that for you. I'm just saying for me, I'm better with Austin Reeves and James Harden with, than Gilbert Arenas. And, and a lot of it might be my fault. And guess what, guys? I'm willing to admit it. I don't really know how to move with Gilbert Arenas, okay? And so if I'm willing to admit it, it's okay. I'm not good with Gilbert. But that means to me he is D tier. Glenn Rice. I find some peace with making this Dark Matter tier list. The reason I do, Glenn Rice is free. And a lot of people have Glenn Rice. Now, I don't really like the free term behind Glenn. Because, I mean, it takes hours upon hours upon hours to get Glenn Rice. Like, how long, I think, is a difficult question to answer. But Glenn Rice takes a... It's a very long grind. So don't think Glenn's just going to be a super easy grind. No, you're going to have to grind a lot to get the card. 6-8 at the shooting guard position. Great defensively. Offensively, the best player we have in the entire game. He is S tier, no doubt about it. The best card in my team right now is Glenn Rice. And the fact that you don't have to gamble for him, at least we have that. I mean, at least we have that. In a game that my team is so bad, at least we have Glenn Rice. Again, the problem is he is so hard to get. Ja Morant, I like Gilbert more than Ja. I guess I've gotta, I gotta go like this. Cause I don't think Ja is as bad as D-Rose. I think Ja gives you something over D-Rose. So for me, I'll go Ja at D tier, D-Rose at F tier. And again, these are your best dark matters. So, or all the dark matters, I should say. So it's not like, oh, Ja is bad cause he's D tier. No, if you have Ja, I'd probably run him. Cause he is a dark matter. Jason Tatum, I'm gonna go B tier. I know some people pull Jason Tatum and might like Jason Tatum. There's just shooting guards I'd rather have. And again, I don't have Jason Tatum. Most of these dark matters I don't have. So in Carlos' perspective, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm knowledgeable enough about the cards to do it. Jason Tatum, I do think, has good size, good versatility at the shooting guard position. Not as good as Glenn Rice, and there are some people I prefer over Jason Tatum. J uh, Jimmy Butler up next. B tier. Again, I prefer both Jason Tatum as well as Jimmy Butler to Brandon Roy. So I think there that, that needs to be stated. And again, some people might want Brandon Roy more or like Brandon Roy more. He's going to give you more offense. Jimmy JT definitely going to play more defense. Chris Tapps Porzing is S tier. He's S tier. I mean, they're, they're, I, I don't care. He, I have Bull Bull and Chris Tapps is better than Bull Bull. He just is. And, and, and it's the way it is. It's the way, I, I mean, I wish it wasn't this way because again, I have Bull Bull. But every time I play against Chris Tapps Porzingis, the card is an absolute problem, man. His speed is so high. His release is absolutely elite, absolutely immaculate. Every time I play against Chris Tapps Porzingis, I struggle. And you guys can clown me down below in the comments that I struggle against Chris Tapps because I don't have him. But every time I play against him, I'm like, man, who decided to release this card? He is so good in my team. Next up here, guys, we do see Larry Bird, Larry Legend. And I think B tier is the right spot for Larry Bird. Some people really like Larry Bird. And I, 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 I'm listening. I hear you guys out. Like, I, I, I really do. Larry Bird is tough. He's going to play a lot of defense. 6'9 frame is really solid. But when it comes down to ranking the top dark matters in the entire game, I think B tier is where I'm at with Larry Bird. Some people might want me to go higher with Larry. I just can't I think B tier is the right spot. Because when it comes down to it, Give me Luo Dang over Larry Bird. And again, this is another reason I, de I decently like the Gladiator drop. I feel like there were a lot of really good cards in the Gladiator drop. Were there any really top heavy talent? I don't know. But you got D Book, Luo Dang, and Bobo all at A tier. And I think that deserves to be talked about. Mark Eaton, I'm going to go A tier. I don't like him quite as much as Chris Tepp's Porzingis, but Mark Eaton might play on the best squad in the entire game right now. It's really that simple, really easy. And if you have all the cards, Mark Eaton can be an absolute problem. I played a guy the other day. I feel like I'm better than him, but he has KP, he has Webb, he has Mark Eaton. It became tough out there because he has just a bunch of giants running around out there on the court. Just became really tough. Mark Eaton, really solid in my team. Gladiator MJ, basically the same as 100 overall MJ. I'm going to go B tier. I don't love MJ. I don't love this card, but he's going to play a lot of defense for you. 
And defense, I think, matters right now. MJ gonna get bumpy with whoever he's up against. Do think B tier is the spot he belongs. And Nate Thurman, interesting card here. I don't know. I'm gonna go B tier. I don't do really like ranking collector level cards. It's another one of those gray areas because let's be honest, you can't be collector level, top collector level without gambling. So even Nate Thurman, he's not really behind gambling, but at the same time he is. B tier is where I'm going. You might rank him A tier, I don't know. Nick Young, I do not like Nick Young. Every time I play against Nick Young, I lick my chops. This card to me is not good. He's just not. Again, every time I play against him, and probably better on current gen than next gen, but every time I end on next gen, licking my chops. Patrick Ewing. I do not care. I'm going B tier with Patrick Ewing. I literally don't care. Patrick Ewing to me is good. He's seven feet tall. Defensively is an absolute menace. Maybe you could argue C tier. And if that's what you want to do, I guess you can move him down to C tier. And I'll do it for the sake of this video. But I want you guys to know watching this, Patrick Ewing is not bad in my team. I don't know where he gets that, you know, bad reputation at. To me, Patrick Ewing is a guy that I can trust out there on my court. Gonna play a lot of defense. I know his release is on the slower side of things, but the card is really solid. Ricky Davis. Not great. I'll go C tier with him. Another card that, again, in the past has kind of been a hype beast. Ricky Davis has. That's the way it is. But to me, at this stage, C tier is the right spot. Scotty Pippen, one of my favorite cards in the entire game. I'm going to go A tier. Borderline S tier. Like, if Glenn Rice didn't exist, I'd put Scotty Pippen in S tier. Look, he's got the Scotty Pippen base on very quick. If you know, you know that release is fantastic. Defensively, it's an absolute man. This has the pro two leaner. What's there not to like about Scotty Pippen? The card does it all at the highest level. Now look, SGA, I'm going to do it. Both SGAs are going in my S tier, and I, I, I'm not going to hesitate about it. People complain all the time, oh, Ty, but you rank the S SGAs at the same tier. You're putting the wrong one on the free card tiers. I don't care. To me, they're basically the same card. I know one has Kyrie, one has uh, the Shea on very quick. I don't care. Both the SGAs are that good, in my opinion, the best point guard in the game and one of the best players in the game. SGA has really changed my squad around since I've got him, and I can't wait for the same thing with Glenn Rice. So sure, is the game behind gambling right now? Yes, 100%. But I do find a little piece with SGA and Glenn Rice, both being top tier level cards, both being free. Sean Kemp, I'm on record for saying I don't love the card. I really don't. To me, he's basically like another Amari Stoudemire, though. So I'm going to go B tier. Some of the top guys, some of the guys that are not, I don't want to, some of the guys that have some of the top squads. That's what I wanted to say are running Sean Kemp. Why? 6'10 at that small forward position. That's all you really need. Steph Curry, I don't hate him. Gonna go D tier with the card though. Like I really don't hate Steph at all. But when it comes down to it, I'm at C tier with Gilbert Arenas. Like height runs the game with Steph, with Ja. It's just tough at this stage to prioritize those cards. Terry D, I don't love you. I'm gonna go C tier. Terry Dishinger right now is my backup small forward. So it's tough, right? It's tough to rank a guy that plays for me in C tier, but that's where I'm at right now. I don't love the card. I'd take any of these guys over him. Terry at C tier for me. Victor Webinyama, no questions asked S tier. And so, I mean, if you want me to rank S tier, I'd probably go like this. This is this is where my ranking would be. I mean, honestly, for me right now, because I think Wemby and KP are just so valuable considering height runs the game, but SGA still is really good, obviously. Pro pass over the regular SGA, but that's how I'd rank S tier. A lot of people want me to rank S tier always, so there you guys go. Vince, not a big fan of Vince. Vince is okay, though. Like, if you're running Vince Carter, you are okay. His release is on very quick. Can create some shots for you guys, so... I mean, this is my tier list. I know a lot of people are going to be mad that I'm doing the Dark Matter tier list, but look, I think it's informational to know Glenn SGA can compete at the highest levels. To know, like, if you do pull board to, or, or Gladiator Patrick Ewing, it's okay. He can still play. Same thing with, like, grinding Amari Stott, Amari Gilbert Arenas. Those things, to me, are important, are valuable. That's going to wrap it up. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.